When removing the door panel to replace the window regulator, begin by placing the window down so it has about an inch of glass above the door, green arrow. There are two trim pieces you will need to remove before removing the panel. One is the window trim piece where it meets the door panel, red arrow, and the other is the triangular speaker cover by the A pillar, yellow arrow. There is a fastener under the window trim piece that you will need access to. Use a trim removal tool and separate the trim piece from the weather stripping on the outside of the door frame, red arrow. With the trim piece out of the weather strip channel, you can use your trim removal tool and separate the piece, red arrow, from the door frame. You can now access the fastener, yellow arrow. This fastener has varied over the years from a clip to a T30 torque screw. Now remove the triangular cover by prying it out from the area around the mirror. If yours has been removed before, you can probably do this with your hands. If not, use your trim removal tool, red arrow. With the section around the mirror loose, push the piece forward, red arrow, and out from the door. The piece can just hang by the small speaker wire or you can disconnect it. Use a T30 torque and remove the three T30 torque bolts, one under the trim piece you removed and two below the armrest, red arrows. There are nine clips, red arrow, that hold the door panel in place. Some of these clips might break or stay in the door when you are removing the panel. You want to use the proper door panel trim removal tool and get as close to the clips as possible. Prying them out will take a surprising amount of force. You want to avoid having the plastic section of the panel that holds the clips break. Also, you do not want to pull on the panel with your hands as you risk bending or damaging the panel itself. This photo shows the approximate location of the clips and where you want to insert the tool. Make sure the tool is seated around the clips before you pry on it. With all the clips free, you want to lift the panel up and out from the channel on the top of the door, red arrow. The door lock pull will stay on the door so you will have to lift the panel over it. Tilt the panel back towards yourself and slide the door pull cable out from the support in the door panel, yellow arrow. Unhook the Bowden cable from the handle, green arrow. Unplug all the electrical connections from the control unit. Compress the clip on the front and slide the plastic plugs of the control unit, red arrow, forward and out from the bracket on the door panel, yellow arrow. Disconnect the electrical connection from the window motor, yellow arrow, and use a T25 torque to remove the three torque screws, red arrows. Pull the motor out of the door panel. The motor gear, red arrow, fits within the plastic geared spindle on the regulator, yellow arrow, to drive the window up or down. Remove the two large plugs in the door that covers the window attachment point, red arrows. With the motor removed, you can slide the window up or down until you have access to the T27 screws that hold the window to the regulator. This photo shows the T27 torque screw that clamps the window to the regulator, red arrow. Make sure you do not strip this screw when removing it, or you will find you will be in for a heck of a time getting the window separated from the regulator. Disconnect the connection for the airbag sensor, red arrow. The harness is not free from the door panel, but still attached to the door frame yellow arrow. Use a T30 torque and remove the three torque screws holding the latch lock in place, red arrows. You will need to remove the door handles, so please see our article and video on door handle removal for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. With the door handles removed, remove the two gaskets and loosen the T20 torque screws underneath, red arrows. Using hand pressure on the screws, slide the backing plate towards the front of the door. You now need to drill out all of the stainless steel rivets along the outer section of the panel, red arrows. Do not drill out any rivets on the inside section of the panel, yellow arrows. Remove the panel from the door frame and transfer all of the components over to the new panel. 
rear panel is shown. Use care as you need to melt the plastic rivets for the locking mechanism, but leave enough on the rivet so you can reattach it to the new panel. Make sure to pass the cables and electrical wires through and install the grommets in the openings, yellow arrow, before re-melting the rivet. Installation is the reverse of removal, and then you will need to rivet the panel back into the door. This photo shows the location of the clips, yellow arrows. You can see how two of them, red arrows, stayed in the door frame when we removed the panel. If the clips are not broken, you can just pry them out of the door and reinsert them into the panel. It's a good idea to order a few spare clips before you begin in case you damage a few. You do not want to be hung up on reassembly waiting for clips. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.